We started tracking through our Maryland State Police Crime Lab in September of 2013. Statewide, September of 2013 to present, we have had 66 cases statewide that have tested positive for heroin with fentanyl. Many years ago, we started doing a couple of things a lot better than we ever had before in the city of Baltimore. One was better and smarter law enforcement, and the other was better and more widely available drug treatment. And we found that we were able to save a lot of lives. And we kept those trends going for quite some time, until this time. And now we need everyone, uh, because uh, the heroin um, overdose that have tragically come to every single community in our, in our state uh, is sweeping across the country. I do believe it's a bit of a northeastern phenomenon with the fentanyl-laced uh, heroin, which is particularly uh, lethal. That fentanyl can be in any form. They have the, the individual selling it sometimes knows it, more than likely does not. The end user generally does not. We see heroin in different forms, predominantly gel caps of heroin. A gel cap, if you can imagine, a vitamin cap. You pull it apart and you put the heroin in. Um, and it, it comes in varying prices. Uh, in Baltimore City, it's one price. Northern Maryland, it's a different price. Upper Shore, Western Maryland, it's a different price. Then you'll have glassine baggies of heroin that might be stamped. You'll have uh, heroin that's, that's in pharmacy folds. It just depends on the supply source and where that heroin is coming from. A lot of people are turning to heroin after starting on prescription drugs. And this is a national phenomenon. It's one of the reasons why I think this is a statewide issue because prescription drugs were statewide and now we're seeing that turn into a heroin state, statewide problem. Um, and it turns out as people get to a certain level of prescription drug abuse that heroin may to them be a cheaper alternative, especially now when it's so plentiful and, and around. So what we want to do in terms of prevention is to the extent possible prevent clinicians um, from getting into trouble with their prescribing of pain medicines. We know what's being prescri prescribed for anything with an opioid. So we're, the, the doctors, the law enforcement were clamping down on prescription medications and then an alternative to heroin. There's a couple things we're doing. We're starting to equip our troopers with naloxone. That's a medication that reduces an opioid overdose. And we're rolling this out in three counties throughout Maryland. We're rolling this out in Cecil County, Allegheny County, and Somerset Counties. And when we roll this out, it'll be a pilot program. We ex expect this is gonna be a huge success. Then we'll equip all troopers statewide with this life-saving medication for any opioid overdose. If we want to save more lives, we're going to have to uh, change what we're doing. We're going to have to do more of the things that we know that work.